Looks like we live, Neil. Excellent. We live, Neil. Are we live? We live on what are we now? Uh, Instagram. We live on Instagram, and then we've got another little camera going on there. So let's just wait for those people to join us. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Neil Winning with Art of Clean and Pierre Duet, oh, also of Art of Clean. And Art of Flooring. Art of Flooring. Art of Flooring. Art of flooring. <laughs> Get it right. Got too many companies. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, today we're talking about something, Neil. What are we talking about? We are talking about um, Play Doh, apparently. Um, yes. Pierre asked me if I wanted to play with this stuff. I bought along my Lego, uh, but apparently this isn't for fun. This is actually a demonstration. So um, I shall let Pierre explain. Yes, because actually I didn't tell Neil what we're talking about. I have not been prepped for this whatsoever. And we didn't. <laughs> okay, so what we're talking about, Neil, is the difference in construction of carpet. So um, there are two main types, a tufted carpet or a woven carpet. And um, in the many years that I've been cleaning floors and carpets, um, many people ask the question and sometimes people say, oh, my carpet would shrink and I don't want you to clean it. So I thought today I'll uh, share with those people out there how we know the difference and what is actually the difference. So I've got a little sample here of showing a woven carpet. Uh, many times on woven carpet you'll see a pattern at the front, not always, but most times. So what we'll notice on a woven carpet is that we actually can peel off the seams like this uh, or what we call the warp and the weft. So you see a piece like that come off and uh, I think the video camera might need to come closer um, in a little while when I show the difference. Um, so let's talk about what happens when a carpet shrinks. Have you ever heard people say, oh, my carpet would shrink? It's have, wool? Yeah, I have, where it shrinks, it shrinks away sometimes from the wool. That's right. Um, particularly if it's been down for quite some time. Um, it might be that uh, there's been some movement in the carpet or in the property itself. Okay. Um, now, what, I've, I've, what, I've, what I've heard so many times people say is, oh, my carpet is wool and it's going to shrink. Mm. Um, and they stop there because they think if you wash your jumper and it shrinks, the same reason why the carpet would shrink. Yep. And actually, that's why I really want to make this video. Um, it might not be very short, people, so please bear with us. Um, so I want to start by, by showing you something, Neil. I made something here. Look at this. I made that. And I made this. What is that? <laughs> you wouldn't believe, but that is an example of a wool fiber. That looks like a medieval weapon. That, that <laughs> does look like that, doesn't it? And then I made this. Can you guess what's that? <laughs> that is a tufted fiber. No, uh, that's a synthetic fiber. That's a synthetic, of course it is. This is a synthetic fiber. I can't believe I didn't get that. No, okay. This is <laughs> representing a synthetic fiber, and that is representing a wool fiber. So, the synthetic fiber comes out of a machine made, they used to make it round, but then they changed the shape in the previous videos with Sam. I've spoken about it, but that is a synthetic fiber. This is a wool fiber. So what I want to show you is that if we get some water going on the, uh, each fiber, which one do you think will hold more water, Neil? I think the wool one will. Why do you say that? Uh, because it's got the, uh, it's, it's more porous. Exactly, so it's yeah. got those little scales. If you've yeah. seen it on the, um, uh, under a microscope, you would see it's got scales. So if we're going to pour this water on that fiber, um, you can see that some of the water is actually going to sit in those little valleys there. But Neil, what happens if we pour the water on the synthetic fiber? It bounces off. It runs right down to the back of the carpet. You ruined the table. I do, I do, I do. Did you bring a cloth? You're going to clear it by please. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've got the two differences there. Now um, that caused us to say that a synthetic fiber, the face fiber of the carpet, synthetic fiber, it means that if it gets wet, the water runs straight to the back. If the face fiber on a, on a carpet is wool, it will hang on to the water a little bit more, stopping it from running to the back straight away. So Neil, I've got a little sample here of different types of carpets. Okay. Right, so we've got two main types, like I said earlier, woven and tufted. And uh, Neil, look at that one. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That is what we call a woven. And if you look on the back there, you can see that looks woven. And then let's look at the tufted. So what we have is a tufted. Let's see if I've got one that I can actually put a piece off. So that's tufted. You see it's got yeah. a skin at the back. Yeah. So for the camera, that's a tufted carpet. And you can see there it is. To make it easy for everybody to know, how do each one get made? Um, I have a few toys on the table for us, right? Let's talk about a tufted carpet. Nice. A tufted carpet is made by using a piece of plastic it looks like that 
what's uh, not totally it's uh, usually a white uh, polypropylene fiber and then what they do Neil is they stick through this these little tufts so it's a piece of wool that looks like that folded over and it kind of goes inside and it ends up looking like this you see that now what they do is look at this I've got another little sample here so imagine that to be a fiber and uh, they will stick it through that plastic just tough it through now this is called the primary backing and they stick it through mm -hmm. then what they do they get some latex yep imagine that's latex glue okay yep. and then they've now glued that tuft inside but to give the car a bit more stability they take a secondary backing and they stick that on the back and there we go we then have a tufted carpet and there's many of those together and that's a tufted carpet what about the wool a woven carpet a woven carpet on the other hand remember i said earlier it's got these strands that run you can see the strand there and if i pull up the next one you will see that i'm pulling with it the fibers so what they've done is they've taken a string They've taken the strand of fiber, which will become the face fiber, and they wrap it around that. So it looks like that. So, Neil. Yes. Woven carpet versus tufted carpet. Which one do you think is going to shrink? I would say woven, but I think you're going to correct me. No, you are absolutely <laughs> spot on right. <laughs> A woven carpet is much more likely to shrink. It doesn't mean that a tufted cannot shrink, but most probably your woven carpet is more likely to shrink. It is an extremely good construction. The reason why they shrink in some cases is, remember earlier we said about the synthetic fiber and the water on the right to the back? Mm -hmm. These fibers that is made this woven carpet with, which is my representation there, this fiber is actually very absorbent and if this fiber gets wet it will swell up it would get much fatter and because it gets fatter it starts to pull the carpet in so what will happen is if we clean a wool fiber like this because of all those little valleys and scales on the wall it hangs onto the water and stops it running right to the back where with a synthetic it runs straight to the back so we can clean a wool a woven carpet carefully with the right training and we are very less likely to shrink the carpet. But if we clean a carpet that's made out of synthetic fibers, um, you're more likely to find the water run straight through to the back, goes into the backing, and then swell that up and the carpet can shrink. So that is what makes the difference between a tufted carpet, a woven carpet, and what can shrink and what can't shrink. I hope that helps people out there. If you have any questions, feel, please feel free to get in touch with us or come and see us here at the shop. What's our address, Neil? Our address is Art Flooring, 141 Milton Road in Cambridge, CB41XE. That's correct, yes. you're getting there. 1XE. <laughs> so come and see us, and Sam and Neil would be happy to answer all your questions. And if you're lucky, they might pull up a Play Doh so we can play together. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Lego here as well. <laughs> Thanks a lot, and have a good day.